What is happening, everybody? Uh, you guys are actually kind of lucky because I'm playing this Dark Souls episode just several hours after my last one. And I've done some things. Uh, you'll notice my shield is different. It's the Great Shield of Artorius, which I was trying to get the strength for last episode. Also, all my armor, uh, plus five now. Um, and I, my halberd is plus 15 because I farmed uh, twink, or Titanite chunks out of the uh, the Royal Sentinels outside of or the Ornstein and Smoke boss fight. Also, I got uh, the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring to help me get those Titanite chunks. Um, it's in Sen's Fortress. I didn't really want to backtrack on video to show it, so I just kind of got it. It's really easy to get. Um, just look it up in your spare time. Now, I've probably said this before, I don't give a shit about Cramped or Crave, so we're doing this. I don't side with either. And basically what we're gonna do here is plop the Lord Vessel down on this thing. Now I'm not 100% sure what happens if you, because you can come down here before getting the Lord Vessel. I don't really know what happens if you do that. Like, are you dead? Do you die? Can you get back up? I don't know. It's, it's, it's uh... I'm sure someone will be able to tell me. So basically, you put the Lord Vessel in this thing. We've already fought one, uh, one of the Lord battles, which was the Four Kings. We can now fight Nido, Seath, and wi the Witch of Isolith, aka the Bed of Chaos. Um, we're gonna do Seath first. Um, Seath is probably the easiest, in my opinion. I don't, I don't think Seath is, like, difficult at all. Um, the, uh, and to get to Seath, you go to Ann Orlando. I really wanted to do the, um, the hidden boss fight in Ann Orlando in this episode, but you have to do the catacombs first, so I'm not gonna do it. Um... What else is I getting at? Uh, also, I did deep. I did get the uh, plus two covenant allegiance for the uh, servants of chaos, which means that I'm gonna be able to do that end game thing I've wanted to do. And I'm just gonna ignore you. I don't really care. Don't give much of a shit. Um, so basically, you just come up here. This is blocked off before you, um, you put the Lord Vessel at the altar, so, let's see, what was I kind of trying to say? Uh, you'll notice that this is one of the boars from, uh, like, earlier in the game. They don't take a lot of damage. though. Not a whole lot, actually. Uh, not nearly what I was expecting. Luckily, they don't seem to have, like, a whole shit ton of health, but still, I mean, like, Garsh. Also, Great Shield of Artorius, just awesome. You, t you take so little, like, damage to your stamina when using it. That actually doesn't seem worth it. Whatever. There's one more up here. We'll kill it, too. Um, I'm hoping I actually get enough souls to level up once before going too far. Because... There, there's a part uh, coming up where you really have to, like, bite the bullet and just accept the fact that you're going to lose all your souls. Or maybe you can get them back. I'm not sure. I guess you would have to not die on the way there, and that's the tricky part. Alright, I don't know if they respawn, but honestly, you'll probably, like, never have to come through that again once you get in here and just activate this bonfire. Just 
trying to think like what I could spend my souls on, but I've kind of just like really awesome right now. Let's just to repair this and get it out of the way with. That way I never have to look at it again. I should probably do the same thing with the weapons, so let's do that real quick. The only downside to uh, Great Shield of Artorias is how much it weighs, because it, it's like an added 10 pounds, so... Quite a bit, actually. Oh man, I didn't go and do the thing with Siegmeier. That's okay, I'm not like too upset about it. Um, that's a quest you really like have to micromanage a little bit to, uh, to do, and I'm just, I'm not feeling it. So I think um, Seat's Tower, whatever this area would be called, the Archives, I guess, uh, is a whole lot easier on your first playthrough. For some reason, these Crystal Hollow guys become way more intense on your uh, subsequent playthroughs. That's a channeler over there. I really hate channelers. Also, one of the reasons I wanted to come here, you see this blue asshole right here? He is the next step in getting the DLC, because he drops the broken pendant, which you can use to, uh, uh, go to the DLC. I fucking hate these guys. Suck a dick. There's going to be a lot more of them in the future. They really suck. I don't know that I'm going to get to spend my souls before fighting Seath, which isn't good. On the plus side, I'm only probably going to lose like 15,000. Definitely not going to spend that. Longbow, I don't really care. I'm actually really liking the plus 15 halberd. Um, it's working out pretty well for me so far. That guy was a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. There's a little trick you can do on the upcoming elevator to speedrun this part of the game. I'm not a speedrunner, so I'm not going to be doing it. Twinkling Titanite. That would have been nice when I was fully upgrading the Silver Knight armor, but you live, you learn other shit. Not going to do this just yet. I don't even know how much I need to level up. I, I want to say it's like 30,000. I leveled up like twice off camera too. May maybe three times. I think it was, there are probably four. One strength, two endurance, one vitality. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, we got a mimic here. Fuck off. Yeah, don't move. Don't move with me. Crystal Knight Shield. Uh, now I'm actually really reconsidering the whole spending of the souls thing. More Twinkling Titanite. So let's let's just see one thing first. there's a guy we're gonna fight up here and 
Oh, hello everyone. I'm just gonna talk at this podium. I don't know why that's in here. There's a guy up here that you fight. He's an NPC. Um, this is Crystal Knight guy. Pretty neat looking. Pretty, pretty fucking dead too. Uh, so instead of wasting all these souls, I am actually just gonna farm a little bit. So I will let you guys know when I get right back here. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I leveled up once, actually managed to die getting back up here once. That's why I have like 8,000 souls. Crystal Lizard! Dress! Oh man, all this Twinkling Titanite would have been really good earlier. So, what happens here is... See the scaleless, blah blah blah. I don't even think you can... Yeah, you can't do any damage to him here, so you, you just have to die. Yeah, do, do your thing, man. It's fine. Yeah, you can't kill him. You can skip the fight altogether by doing that little shortcut thing that I mentioned, um, which involves the elevator to get up here. You jump off of it at a certain time. You jump onto it as it's going down, and then you jump off at a certain time, and that will uh, let you skip this entire part that I'm about to do. But I don't mind doing it. I've also never done the skip before, so, you know, here's what it is. There's all these dudes in here. They are not my main target, but... You bastard. Bastard. Lo losing my stamina a lot faster than I feel like I should be. That's okay. I'm hopefully gonna get Mask of the Child at some point, and that'll really help with that, so... Just, you kill that guy, he only takes one hit. And we got some more snakes. So... I'm gonna skip that, just cause it's kinda like, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna chase this guy up here. Yeah, backstab him, fuck yeah. Alright, um... So, essentially what'll happen is... Alright, so uh, what ha I should I probably shouldn't have skipped what I did when I got out of there, but what happens is the other snakes that are down there will summon these things called Picassas. I don't think they're that difficult, though everything just seems to run from them. Yeah, see, they die in like one hit, but I have a plus 15 halberd, so, you know, don't believe everything I say. Also... If you, there's some stuff down here, I'd rather just get it out of the way with and get it now, because I don't want to do it later. Actually, you do have to come back down here, provided you get the key that you need. And that's going to suck, actually. Well, I'll just cut, uh, I'll cut that part out, though, because Big Hat Logan, that guy we saved in Sen's Fortress, is also imprisoned in here. He's got himself into another pickle. Dumb to stay out of trouble, I guess. I mean, like, come on, man. So as you can see, there's like four more of these things down here. These are actually women that Seath did experiments on, and uh, they turn into these horrible monsters. Some of them cry because they're monsters. Oh, god damn it! I forget if you like press. B or left. I don't, I don't think it matters with them. I think you're, like, gonna get damaged no matter what. But sometimes when you get grabbed with certain attacks like that, you can actually, uh, sort of save yourself a little bit. Alright, so these, these are the crying ones. So sad. Just put them out of their misery. And they should drop stuff. Yeah, they drop a miracle. Uh, here's Big Hat. 
Hello again. Alas, I'm in prison with the archive. The thought offends me so as a student. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. I don't really care. So what we do is go up here. Turn the music off. Didn't mean to get hit there. This is actually a little bit tricky because you've you've like pulled three enemies into aggro right here. And I don't know what I'm getting stuck on. That guy's good. And it wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for this asshole right here. Get wrecked. I forget what's in here. Oh, yeah. I feel like we need that. Yeah, I do need that. I need that to get out of here. <laughs> so I would have had to come down here no matter what. But I will search around for the other key and hopefully I can free Big Hat Logan because there's a Firekeeper soul in there with him. And that's mainly what I want. Get that Estus Flask plus three. Pretty awesome. You can get it up to plus seven. Um, I would expect to get mine up to plus five this playthrough. Because I know where three more Firekeeper Souls are right now. Well, I know where two are right now. One's in here, one's in Blight Town. And after I do the, uh... The one thing in the one place... What the hell's this guy doing? Wow, that did a lot of damage for some reason. But whatever. So, four Estus is not an amount that I'm completely comfortable with. I have very little humanity left. I suppose I probably should have just rested at that bonfire. Yeah, that would have been the smart thing to do. Too late now, I can't turn back. It's too late for me. So now we're going to go to this nice, pretty outdoor area. Onward. Ho. Colin's mother. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I'm sorry, how did that happen? Anyway, I guess I gotta get back there. Okay, so I'm back. I did it. Um. <laughs> ah, fuck. There are still more channelers in here, though. Two or three more, to be precise. So my goal right now is just to clear out as many of these ding-dongs as possible. Nobody's following me. That's good. <coughs> I thought there was a chest over there. <coughs> Guess not. Also, that is uh, where we came in. Yes. I'm right. I knew it. Oh shit. These guys actually do quite a bit of damage. Ah, stop. The channelers do quite a bit too. I don't remember them doing that much, though I was using the elite knight armor when I fought them, so... You know... Everything's a little bit different. Come on down here. Ah, you fucker. 
Luckily, you can't get hurt while you're doing, like, action animations, I guess. Is there anyone up here? Yeah, there's those guys. Yeah, let's, let's kill him real quick, because he's just going to get on my nerves otherwise. Why did his arrows home on me? That's just silly. Well, I guess they do curve. Like a penis. If yours makes a complete right angle, though, I recommend going to the doctor. That's not normal. It's called, uh, Peyronie's Syndrome. Maybe it's a disease? Peyronie's disease? I don't know. Uh, Peyronie's something. Basically bends your wiener at, like, a 90 degree angle. This is not a mimic. <clears throat> uh, I thought there was a chest over here. I guess it's just nice to check all the corners. So let's go do the other side of this. We'll open up the shortcut. There's that goddamn channeler. I really want to eat like an entire pizza right now. Gets, get fucked. He, he really almost killed me, though. I mean, I can't... I can't talk too much shit there. If he had hit me, I'd have been dead. This is also not a mimic. Happy day. Strong magic shield. Too strong. <clears throat> so, let's see. Nothing over here. But you flip this thing around. I'm gonna head up here first. There might be treasure. Nope, that's where I came from. I'm stupid. Is there a chest? No. Nay. I don't think there's one over there, either. There are a lot of chests where we are about to go, though. Some are mimics, some are not. Unless you have a bow and arrow or can hit that guy with pyromancy, chances are you're not killing him, so... Just don't worry about it. Just dodge as best you can. Ooh, a spooky ghost! Also not a mimic. Blue Titanite Chunk. We're not really ever going to make use of that. This is also not a mimic. Okay. Apparently we got the channeler armor. It's neat. That's exactly what I wanted. Because that's what's going to let us free Big Hat Logan. Oh, god damn it! I didn't check! No! No! That's the first time I've ever died to that. On the plus side, though, this actually makes it whole lot easier to do this part. I... I need to stop. Okay. I will make sure to heal on my way up. 
Eh, maybe the Mimic getting me is a blessing in disguise. I don't think I'm gonna die. Uh, I'm not gonna jinx myself. Anyway. I'll restart the- I'll, I'll come back when I get down there. Alright, so as you can see, I'm just killing Picasso's here. It is not difficult at all if you have Great Chaos Fireball like I do, which is just... It really is like my favorite spell in the game. It's just so useful for crowd managing. Just wish you could get more of it. Maybe you can. Maybe for someone who has all the achievements in the game, I'm actually pretty dumb and don't know as much as I think. <clears throat> Anywho. Big hat. Oh, thank you. That makes I will visit the up there to be in. So basically he'll sell you stuff now once he gets up to the archives. If you're uh, a fan of the sorceries, that's cool. If you're not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so I'll restart the video when I get back up there. Alright, we're back. We're gonna fight this asshole mimic this time. I really thought you could, like, press B to get out of a Mimic Hold, but it didn't work. Symbol of Avarice. Oh, you know what? Uh, maybe I'm wrong here. Crystal Ember. You can give that to the Giant Blacksmith, I think. Um... In case you were wondering, that's where you find Big Hat Logan, if you've saved him. Uh, he'll sell you all kinds of shit. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't even think he'll sell me anything, because my intelligence isn't high enough. So, I, def I definitely want to level up once. Spend some of these souls. Dexterity actually kind of scales pretty well with this weapon, so I'm going to do that. Um, I do want to kindle this bonfire because it's the last one before Seath. And I guess that means i got to do one of these, too. It doesn't... I don't think it matters if you're, uh... human for the Seath boss fight. He... I, I don't think there are, like, any NPCs you can summon for it. There's an NPC summon sign right there, though. I'm not going to summon anyone. Um, what I do want to do... Because I can warp right back here. I hope. I think. I'm, like, 99% positive I can. Uh, I want to do this. It actually would have been faster to go to, or go to Anne Orlando, but... Whatever. Don't sass me. And now I can reinforce my Estus. The first time I ever got a Firekeeper Soul, I, um, just used it on myself. Which... I think gives you, like, five humanity, but no experience. So, not... Not a very good trade. Yep, came right back to where I was. So the the symbol of avarice, um, uh, a mimic in the game will drop it guaranteed. Uh, sometimes you can get it before the last mimic, but if no other mimic has dropped it up until you fight the last mimic, it's always the last mimic that uh, that drops it. I think that's how that works. This is not a mimic. These are some prism stones, which can definitely come in handy up ahead. I'm not going to be using them. I always just run right off there and damage myself, but I'm going to not do that. Okay, so this is actually kind of important. It's not super important, but let me just make sure nothing's following me. Because these guys have, like, insane range to seek you from. So let's get rid of this one. And then we're gonna fight this guy. Not 
gonna get me, pal. Well, yeah, I guess you are. There's one more. Uh, the whole crystal spiky thingy didn't happen. You'll notice this armor is familiar. But it's a female this time. It's Sieg Lin, Sieg Meyer's daughter. I have to... Still save Sieg Meyer, though, which I definitely can do. Um, I just have to do it before I go to Isolith. So I'll do it after I, after I beat Seath. Now, this is a part of the game that I will kind of consistently just speed through because I don't want to fight all these friggin' enemies. There's a lot of them. They're annoying. You can usually run right past that guy. Man, I, like, all these crystals, I, it has to be, they, they're like smooth surfaces. You have to, like, be worried about slipping off. Now, you'll notice that I'm just kind of walking on thin air here. Um, certainly appears that way. There's actually, like, these invisible crystals. The humanities. Actually, I really don't need humanity anymore. Um, other than for the final boss. But, so... This is where the prism stones come in handy. If you use the prism stones, you can, uh... Kind of, like, drop them on the ground and... See where the invisible walkways are. If they go past the walkway and you hear, like, a screaming sound, that means there is no walkway there. <laughs> so, um... But for the most part, it's, it's really, like, straight lines. There's only like a couple parts. If you're if you're doing it on your first time, I definitely don't blame you for uh Wow, I am getting fucking wrecked here. I'm just gonna back up. Okay. Yeah, that fight always worries me. That's like one of the biggest crystal guys in the game, too. Um, so this part, not tricky per se, but as soon as you jump down here, make an immediate 180. Because they're not, there's not one, not two, but three crystal lizards in here. Yeah, look at that. Also, if you go that way, you can see an item off in the distance there. It's a blue titanite slab, it'll, uh maximize either a magic or enchanted weapon. I don't use either of those, so I won't be getting that. It's also... That is also where, like, the prism stones come in most handy. This part actually really does scare me a little bit. Um, I've fallen off here once or twice. But if you just walk in a straight line, you should be okay. Towards the end here, you can kind of run and just get past it. It's not a huge deal. We're making good time. Um, the only thing I don't like is this next set of enemies. These things. Clams. Weird ass finger, finger legged clams. I didn't expect to get hit there. I forgot that was part of a combo. Wow, okay. Well, I guess I gotta get back to this part then. I feel like an idiot. Alright, back to the clams again. These things suck. Um, but if it's your first time fighting the boss, you sort of have to fight them. They do a decent amount of damage, too. Oh god, there's two. There's two. Fuck. using this, because... Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Point of interest, I kind of just decided to stab one of these stupid-ass butterflies. Um, uh, 
I'm not really sure, like, what I'm waiting for here. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Yep, thinking this was a bad idea. Yeah, I'm gonna say fuck this. Alright, I'm an idiot. Who's ready to see some really asshole speedrunner shit? I hope you guys are, because I'm not... I'm not dealing with these clams again. I hate these. I really do. So, what... Normally, you would have to fight these guys on your first time doing this. We'll go ahead and watch the cutscene, at least. They're gonna be behind me when I spawn in, though. That's the thing that makes Seath immortal. Seath is a weird looking dragon, man. He doesn't have feet, he's just got like these three tentacle things. Guess he can still move around at least. So, I think the clams are behind him. Yes, yes they are. So what you do, is you quit the game, and then you load it back up. And that puts a boss wall there, which they can't cross. Albeit you do start on the other side of Seath now, which is actually slightly detrimental, but not so much that it makes a difference. Uh, okay, so what you do here is you wait for it. it this <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys the strategy for cutting off Seath's tail. Like any other dragon, Seath has a tail. If you want to get the weapon from Seath's tail, this is what you do. Let him do his thing. Oh, no, I fucked it up. I didn't wait long enough. Did he do it? He missed it. He missed it by like one crystal. And then he makes himself unimmortal because he's just really fucking stupid. So, if you really want to get the tail, that's how you do it. I don't recommend it. It's actually, like, a really big pain in the ass. This sucks, but it's fine. It's not helping that it happened twice, though. I really should have put on the Curse Bite ring. kind of let him do his thing. He's, this is, I think this is by and large the easiest of the four lords fights. I'm actually amazed that I didn't take any damage there. So, let's see. Yeah, see, he takes, like, a good... And, I mean, like, there's really not a whole lot to block in this fight, so... Uh, don't... Don't try to strafe out something on the outside of him if you ever want this fight to, like, go anywhere, because he seriously, like, turns at a really fast pace. Like, you saw what I was doing there. He was pretty much much matching my speed. But, yeah, that's... That's how you beat Seath. Um... Actually... Pretty simple. Got humanity. 60,000 souls. That's pretty good. I don't really need that for anything. I might just use it to level up. But you got a bonfire at least. So that's cool. And uh, 
yeah, so... Uh, that's how you beat Seath, and I, I don't know what Lord will do next time. Um, well, we gotta start... We're gonna start the video by saving Siegmeier from Blight Town. And that kind of sets us up to do um, Bed of Chaos... And then maybe we'll do Nito last, and then the DLC, or then the Great Hollow, and then the DLC. We'll see how it turns out. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like the Wabba Jerks on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We love to talk to you guys, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.